Well, top of the morning to you, laddies. My name is Zoo Battleman Buck, and welcome to Memorial Day Weekend Camp. And that's right, we're already out here. Now, this place has changed a lot since you guys have uh, already seen it last. So, uh, first of all, thanks for all stopping to come out here. I hope you all had a great Memorial Day weekend. I almost decided to head out to the lake, but I uh, changed my mind at the last minute. You know, I got this video ready to go, and I wanted to make sure it was special for you guys. So, uh, and for anybody that's going to go, why do you never post so much? Well, I want you guys to make sure that this content is the most quality that it is possible. So, uh, we actually have to go make a, <laughs> in essence, a little bit of a beer run. Uh, I'm probably about three beers down already with some Budweiser. But we're going to load up in the truck. We got we got our Yeti in the back. We need to go pick up a couple bags of ice. But we're going to get on the road. We brought out the Ranchero. We brought out, uh, of course, the camper. We've actually already been out here for about three, four days. So it's just going to be a great time. Uh, we got a couple new people around the area. I'm going to be the only one that's doing this video again because uh, I, I just love this map. And everyone else, they wanted me to come out to Iowa for the weekend. But I, I'm, I'm just tied too much to the Pinewood Farms. And since last time, uh, there's been a lot of updates and changes. We got the pontoon over, uh, over yonder, to say the least. A couple of our older friends from around the area are out here. You guys probably just saw that guy uh, in the O3 Power Stroke. That was uh, Jeremiah, so Jeremiah's out here. Uh, we're actually going to head out the park here again, make a left. We're going to head to the Quickie Mart, and that's probably where we're going to pick this up. we got to pick up two cases of Bud. Uh, that's for the party tonight, because they're actually built out a treehouse out here the other night. Uh, not the other night. They've been, they built a treehouse out here, uh, kind of like a treehouse bar. That place has just went up about two months ago. They're actually going to start redoing the marina over here as well. So that is bound to change a lot here. They're going to add an office and all that stuff. Clean up all those little buildings. It's going to look really, 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 really nice. Uh, but we're just about technically to the shop already. Uh, we got to head in, of course. I'm probably packing the 16 bucks. I think that's about what it's going to be. Uh, actually, no, I'm probably going to have to use the car because the beer is going to be more than that. But we'll roll up here and we'll see what we can't do with the clerk and see if we can't get some ice. It's, it's kind of hard to get on holiday weekends. Hey Gavin, how you doing? Um, and I need about three bags, about three bags of medium ice, pretty much. Just well, yeah, three bags of ice. Uh, if I could also get two cases of regular Bud, that'd be good. Do you have any of those? Sweet. Hey, can you actually set them out back? For, can you set the two buds out back? Cause that's where I'm heading. All right. Thanks, Gavin. That's our good buddy, Gavin. He um, he's been working this place for about ten years. He said the ice bag should be in the cooler, which I'm thinking of right in here. Yep. Sweet. And then he said the bud. Oh. Uh, maybe we already hit. Oh. Sneaky son of a gun. He put it already put it in my bed. Well, we'll get our, we'll get the rest of this stuff undone here. And then we'll get the Yeti out. Uh, we also got to refill up the little fuel tanks. Because I know the, uh, we got to make sure we have enough fuel for the pontoon. Because, uh, Lord knows how many midnight cruises we're going to take. So let's, yep, it's already in there. So we'll pack the other Budweiser in there. Get it ready to go. And we should be good to head out for the weekend. Oh, that's going to be an expensive mistake because those are glass bottles. But let's get all the ice out now. Load that up. Um, and there we go. We got the last bag of ice. It's right here. Uh, so to anybody kind of curious as to, you know, why on earth I have bags of ice and working beer things, uh, that's because I just had some fun. And I got curious and I wondered if this would work. So... We now have a Yeti cooler, a working freezer, and we need to obviously fill up with gas still, so that part's not done yet, but uh, we'll get in here. Let's actually just pull these out quick. I'll catch you guys once we get done with the refueling, too. Eventually. 320, 325 for super unleaded? Not bad. Okay. So that's the last of that. We, we, we dropped a little bit more than I thought we were. We put about, you know, I don't know, maybe 40 bucks. 50 bucks in on this already, so uh, we have a contribution lingo with, back at the with the group because uh, I'm kind of on like the say the least the reserved block of all that stuff. So we'll strap that in. We'll make sure these are also strapped in. Uh, maybe ah, those are all good. We should be good. I just make sure. I just want to really, I really want to make sure that the cooler doesn't move. So we'll make our way back to the campsite. I'll catch you guys in just a moment. So we just got back now to the campsite. We're unloading the Yeti. Uh, so we can kind of get some of this stuff out. And put the put the stuff on ice. Because we're probably going to take this on with the pontoon as well. Since we'll have a couple people. 
Uh, we'll also have to leave one of these here, but we're going to take the other one with us when we go get the pontoon out. Uh, we'll get some of that ice out here as well, and we're probably going to get some lunch here, and then we'll head over to the boat docks, and we'll go get something to uh, go get some boat going while I'm at it. I'm going to pop me a bud. But, uh, but the boat docks, they really did a real nice job redoing these things. They got a lot more just open stuff going out here. I really like the open flow uh, and also just the tree cover. It's also really nice. Ooh. Something tells me Hunter's out here with his new Malibu. That thing's nice. Holy cow. Okay. Um, show off? Much? Uh, no, but we're going to grab our pontoon here. Grab the Bennington. And we're going to move on over here to the boat ramps. And as you guys can kind of see, they really did again. Just they, they cleaned up all this stuff over here. They gave it a lot more... A formality and it's just nice but we'll get this thing on low to get it in the water uh, we'll head across uh, lake to the buddy I think he's actually on the sand dunes over there so uh, we'll get this going and get loaded up and yeah just want to make sure this thing is full uh, before we head out so that way we can and this is a bad idea already two furs one's filling it up and uh, over the top of the water and two having the motor running I uh, know I just wanted to make sure it's all topped off before we head out so that way we don't have to you know make a stop for it Hunter won't mind if we just set it in his boat right he'll be okay with that let's get on the boat let's get cruising shall we Gonna have to readjust this Yeti. I know that much. Yeesh. Now I'm thinking the best place for visibility wise, let's just set this in this doorway right here. That's probably the best area for it. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Perfect. And then we can do. Yep. So now we can pop ourselves a butt here. And let's get to boat, shall we? Oh, also from what I've heard, that's a new like VIP club up there that uh, if you got a pretty much a membership out here for the games and parks, you can actually go up in there and have some fun. I think I've heard it's pretty fun when it comes to uh, game day weekends for football, mainly due to the fact that uh, the place is open year-round, of course. Uh, during the fall time, they really like to have some games out here, but we're just going to cruise and let the summer sun shine. The girl them skill or cheap Sandra Paul So me give it to So me give it to So me give it to To our girls Five million and forty naughty shorty Baby girl All my girls All my girls Sandra Paul say Well I'm on the way the time cool I wanna be keeping you warm I got the right temperature for shelter you from the storm Hold on Girl I got the right tactics to turn you on And girl I Wanna be the papa you can be the mom Oh oh I see the girl them broke out on the floor From you don't wanna work this performer From you don't wanna man work can't turn you want Girl me can see you when them upon ya Can't turn for the long na Eat no yam no steam fish na No green banana But down in Jamaica we give it to your heart like a sauna Well I'm on the way the time cool I wanna be keeping you warm I got the right temperature for shelter you from the storm Hold on girl I got the right tactics to turn you on And girl I wanna be the papa you can be the mom Oh oh Expose and girl, you got it just out, but you know we're sad 'cause girl, you impress out. And if it is out, I me if it is out, 'cause I got the remedy for making this stress out. Me have to fly to become a god bless out, and girl, if you want it, you have to confess out. On a life where we need set speed, if it is too much, it's out. Well, I'm on the way this time, cool. I wanna be keeping you warm. I got the right temperature for shelter you from the storm. Hold on, girl, I got the right tactics to turn you on, and girl, I wanna be the papa.
but you can be the mom. So we just got here to my buddy Quentin's party. He's actually up there right now. I'm just getting a little bit of ice out of the cooler for, uh, from that. Uh, but we, we're already up here. They're kind of just getting the party set up. It's only 3 o'clock. Party doesn't start till 5. So it's going to be kind of a jamming night. Have some fun. We're going to grab ourselves a case of Bud out of here for him. So we can kind of get those in the fridge and on ice, even though they've already been in here. Uh, let's just make sure they stay nice and chilly. So we'll slide that right there since those are nice and cold. And we're going to pop on ourselves. How about that? So, we're going to have a little bit of fun here. We'll catch you guys in a bit. Just going to kind of rock out. And then we'll actually be heading over to, if you guys haven't seen it, that place over there is where we're going to head to it uh, tonight. As you can kind of already see, they got some Mercedes and Bentleys out front. Uh, that's kind of like a high life club, uh, just for pretty much some VIP people. But uh, being since that I do a lot of the landscaping out here, I get access to it. So, I am going to take a nice big swig of this nice bud and then... Uh, we'll get the rest of this party out, and then we'll kind of catch you guys once we're back out on the lake again. 8.01 p.m. Man, I gotta tell you, that was a very good party, alright? It was a little, little too much fun. We're gonna, we're gonna head, we're, we're gonna head back, alright? We're heading back to the campsite. I'm perfectly good to drive a kayak, alright? This is a big kayak. Ugh. Real tired. Still gotta stay up though, so we're we're gonna we're gonna head back to uh, yeah. I'll catch you guys um, in a bit. Two hours later. Oh, my head hurts after that one. So we finally got back uh, after a little bit of a little bit of too heavy partying. All right, but we still gotta go to another party. And that's one that's over at the, uh, the boys' house over there, so it's about, you know, a little late. But we're going to take the Ranchero over there since that's kind of a our go-to vehicle. The pontoon right now is doing fine. Uh, we'll just let it chill out over there. But I'll meet you guys over at that party because from what I've heard, this place should be rocking. Look at how calm and beautiful that lake is tonight. Look at this place. Wow. Oh, I saw some lights down here. Two. Oh, good morning guys we actually stayed the night here in the convenient hotel they kind of had up in this area so that was a wild night of party and I'll tell you what much uh, but we're gonna head back over to my campsite because uh, I kind of need it and good thing is it's just been beautiful out so I think uh, I think that's probably gonna do it for this one guys so uh, as stated, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you all so much for checking this one out. Be sure to, to smash that like button and hit subscribe down below if you really did like this. I know that I very much enjoyed uh, at least uh, the idea and creating this video. So if you do like this kind of content, be sure to uh, let me know down in the comments down below. If you don't, then that's also all right. I understand. It's something different. It's a little bit newer, and it takes a while. And just presentation-wise, I absolutely just I, I love setting it up. I love the... Uh, the absolute uh, detail that I like to put into this so I think that's a stand if I'm correct but uh, that's gonna do it for this video guys be sure to check out the boomstick club for all the up-to-date content from me and the gang you already know who is in it and I'm probably gonna stay out here for another three weeks uh, because weather's supposed to be nice and this thing is gonna be popping I'm gonna leave the camper out here for a couple weeks so maybe in the homeowner series we'll just stop out here at the campsite uh, who knows but I'll see you on the next one. It's a beautiful 7 o'clock in the morning, and I got to go uh, get some stuff ready. So, Rattle, man, out. Peace.